Hey there guys, it's uh, White Boy Ninja 100 here, and I have another tutorial for the Mac on how to make a logo for anything, um, anything that you really need to be honest. So, um, if you already have Keynote, then you're pretty much set, you don't have to spend any money, but if you uh, just go into the App Store, if you don't have Keynote, and you look it up, it does cost $19.99. But it keeps it forever. You can make slideshows with it. You can make presentations, all that stuff. Um, it really helps out. And it's really not that expensive for such a powerful pro program. So go ahead and open up Keynote. And it will come to this. And you have a bunch of them. And I'm going to choose the 1920 by 1080 ones. So that, that that's like these ones. And I'll go ahead and do black. Okay, so go ahead and click on these and just delete them. So you can start from scratch. Now go ahead and insert a text box. Um, so let's just say I'm gonna go underneath my dubstep name or just music name at Xeon. And there you go. So go ahead and uh, highlight this. You can put it to any type of uh, text that you want. You want to go ahead and go into font and go to show fonts. And this will give you the whole entire thing. Um, and so you can click on here to choose your colors. So let's just say I want to make it, I don't know, orange. Because it's near Halloween. I don't know, something like that. And um, go ahead and choose, you know what? I'll go and choose Blast Beat. This one I actually downloaded from um, from online. And and there's, there's a... There's tons of free fonts that you can go online and you can just install them straight to your uh, font uh, category thing, I don't know, in, in your preferences. Um, okay, so there you go, you got your first text. So with this, you can um, you can add your reflection onto it. It's really cool, it's really nice and simple. You don't really need shadow if you chose black, so that won't really matter. Um, go ahead and you can go ahead and go in an inspector. This will give you like your uh, graphics inspector. So your reflection, you can choose how much you want it to be. So a little bit of reflection, got that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know what this does. Oh, that just that just gives you like a an outline on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do none on that. Um, that, that chooses what, like, type of fill that you want on it. Let's say that you want to put, like, an image in it. You can go ahead and do that, too. Um, all this is for presentations, and I will do another tutorial on how to make an actual slideshow presentation in this. Okay, so actually, you know what? I'm going to take the reflection off of this. No, no, I'll keep it on. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Oh, whoops. Um, and paste it. And then I'm going to send it backwards. I'm going to change the color onto it. So I'm going to make it like, let's just say, like a different type of orange. And this is where you can really, like, set it how you want it. Wait, which one is this? Okay, this is that. Okay, so you can choose where you actually want your text to be at. So I'm going to make it rather close. Select all of it and bring it to the middle. And um, and then for that, actually, you know what? I didn't do this, but crap. Um, for the back one, I'm going to take out the reflection. Put back. Okay, I like that. Um, and then let's go ahead and copy this again, paste it again. Um, this time I'm going to go ahead and make it like a really light color. Send to back. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this is the only really bad problem about this. So you really have to like line them up. And it does take a little bit of time. 
So, um, hopefully that's going to be really quick. You can see it's already gotten that, like, professional look onto it. Oh, son of a god. Um, wait, I just, no. Take out that reflection. Okay. Go ahead and line it up again. Okay, and put it near the middle again. Okay, so now you got, like, the main thing. So the maybe, like, up here, I'm gonna put dubstep. So this is for the dubs. That's not how you spell dubstep. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing that you actually want to do this before anything else is you want to go ahead and go into view, zoom, and then fit in window. So then you can actually see the whole entire thing. Um, so actually for these, uh, no, that's, that's big enough. Um, and then if you press command and then you go near these little edges, you can turn it like that, and then whenever you try to highlight it, it'll go back to normal, but then once you click out of it, then it, um, it will, uh, go back to your, to the turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this one and condense black, make it rather large. You know what? I'm actually going to put it below it. Like that. So that looks pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and make it, um, let's see. Gray. Oops, I did not mean to. Do that one. I'm gonna do every other one, and then in the other ones, I'm gonna make. Um, they're gonna be orange, cause of you know Halloween. So um, and go ahead and select these ones. And you can go up into into show colors and press this little search, and it'll give you that exact same color that you put on the other ones which I think is a very helpful tool. Um, go ahead and show color search. And then there you go. So it's, uh, it's really simple actually. It does not take that long to even to do. Um, you, can, you can go crazy with it. You can put everything everywhere. So then what you're going to want to do is um, go up to the share, to, ex whoops, to export, and once that all loads up, okay. So you're gonna want to go ahead and click images, and okay. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use JPEG. Uh, I don't know why, because I just feel like it. So just from one to one. Next. Okay, so I'm just going to save it to my de desktop, and I'm just going to name it Logo T for tutorial. Go ahead and click on Export. And this probably should not take that long at all. Yeah, it's already there. So, um, you don't really have to save this. It's up to you. Um, and then go ahead and just press the space bar once you click on it. There you go. Then you got your logo, and you can uh, open it up with Preview and... And you can crop it to however you want it to be. So... Oh wait, it won't let me crop. Why won't it let me crop? Okay, there you go. You highlight it, crop it. And then there you go, and you just save. Export. 
I haven't really messed around with preview too much, but um, I know the yeah. You just go ahead and uh, save that, replace it, and there you go. Now it's um. Press play and or press the spacebar, and it should give you a quick look, right? Quick look, and there you go. And it's a lot smaller. It's a lot more confined. And then you can put it into iMovie. You can drag it into there, and you can um, put it in your videos or anything like that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to my channel uh, for more tutorials because I will be coming out with one on how to make a nice presentation. And um, in Keynote. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more videos. And comment for suggestions on what tutorials you want. Um, yeah, so have a good day.